it's embarrassing because I, I I'm not I'm not a drug user. I mean, this whole thing has been so humiliating. In a nine investigation, more women are coming forward saying they drank a tea promoted for health benefits, but it caused them to fail a workplace drug test. Our Allison Lattice broke this nationwide story two weeks ago and continues to hear from more women who say the same thing happened to them. And Allison, you've uncovered so much more. Well, since that first report, more people from across the country have contacted me. They claim a drink called Raspberry Lemonade ISO tea from a company called Total life changes is the reason they failed those drug tests and now two well-known companies no longer allow the product to be sold on their platforms which i'm a bus a city bus operator in pennsylvania i've been working there 18 years have gone for numerous tests never fail until last month when pam johnson was I called for a random out, drug screening a few days later came the results she had failed and I went ballistic as usual. I'm like, there's no way it had to be a mistake. I don't do drugs. Johnson drink, immediately suspected this. Total Life Changes Raspberry Lemonade ISO T, a product she had seen on social media and was using for weight loss. Is there any chance there's anything else that caused you to fail this drug test? No, not at all. Johnson contacted and Channel 9 after her brother, who lives in Charlotte, saw our first report about other women who told me they too had used the tea and failed drug tests. It's embarrassing because I, I, I'm not I'm not a drug user. Well, the label said 0.0, .0 THC. So I thought for sure that it was fine. Tina Hill says she way. started drinking TLC's raspberry lemonade tea for weight loss too, never thinking it could impact her job as an airport regional manager in Syracuse, New York. She even became an official distributor of the tea and encouraged her employees to try it. But after a round of random drug testing for her and other workers, the phone rang. It was the lab. I was personally thinking that I was being called because one of the other employees had somehow failed their drug test. Because you were the manager. And because I was the manager. And I'm going, oh my God, this is horrible. Who and how? Like who and how? How did they do it? How did they fail? And it was me. Have you ever taken drugs? No. 100% it was the T. Hills 100%. was fired and says she lost the federal clearance needed to work in the airline industry. Then she says she contacted Total Life Changes, which makes that T. A TLC had told me that long term use of the T could possibly result in a positive testing. Um, I explained to them, you know, it's a little late to find this out now. Last month, we took two samples of that tea for testing at Avazime Incorporated, a lab in Durham. And they go into this. The CEO told me they found trace amounts of THC. 8.42 parts per million for this sample. And this sample uh, shows 17.3 parts per million, which is a low, very low amount, but it's still exact and measurable in this type of instrument. And those amounts are enough for someone to fail a drug test? Potentially, yes. Total Life Changes still advertises and sells the tea on its website, but it no longer states 0.0% .0 THC. And it now includes this warning. We do not recommend use if you are subject to drug testing. We had also found the same tea for sale on Amazon, Poshmark, and Etsy. So we contacted all three companies. No response from Amazon, but Poshmark told us it's removing the tea from its website, saying, quote, the product in question is prohibited from Poshmark. It is not compliant with our guidelines. Poshmark does not allow the sale of food products. Etsy told us it's also removing the tea because its platform is for handmade products and the tea violates its reselling policies.
be careful. Know what it is truly that you are putting in your body. Tina Hills is still unemployed and wants her story to serve as a warning for others. This just really made me look really bad. And all your years of service mean nothing. Couldn't compete with that test result. Yeah. Pam Johnson didn't lose her position, but she was ordered to attend rehab classes at her own expense to keep her bus driving job. Still, she really doesn't know when she'll be allowed back behind now. the wheel. Is, this has left uh, a mark on my driving record. I want to see that teeth taken off the market. Right now, there are three class action lawsuits against total life changes over that T and the failed drug test. The company is based in Michigan. I again contacted officials there about my investigation. This morning, the company emailed me this. Out of an abundance of caution and while we investigate the allegations, TLC has advised persons subject to drug testing to not drink ISO raspberry tea.